Hi guys, so today I am doing a quick review of the Benefit What's Up, the cream highlighter. This is what the product looks like, and as I said, it is from Benefit, so the packaging is always like fun, and it's supposed to be like a light bulb thing. If you open it up, this is what you'll see. It's a clear cap just to protect uh, the cream that it doesn't dry out. Ooh. And this is the color of it. It only comes in one color, I believe, but I will link like the link to it down below. And this is... Just a second, I think there was like a snow flood on my roof. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I was talking about is the color. It's a light golden -y champagne shade. So the color of it is a champagne-y gold and silver. It's kind of neutral to me. I don't think it's too warm, but it's definitely that bronzy that it will look the best on tanner skin tones. And I'm at my palest right now. I think this will look beautiful on a darker skin tone. It is extremely smooth. This is the color. You can kind of see like an orangey peachy tint on it. This is like a heavily swatch. You just apply it like this, or I apply it, just by rubbing it on before I put any powder on. Then I blend it out with a dual fiber brush or any type of blending brush that's good with creams and liquids. I've been using the Sigma F50, I think it is, it's kind of roughing up, but it's just this big dual fiber brush and I just blend it out and you will see in the demo. I do think it looks really pretty on. I put it on like my the tops of my cheekbones and I tap it on to my temple area. And I think it looks really nice, but um, as I said, if you have extremely pale skin, like I kind of do, but this may look a bit orange on your skin tone. Like the formula is not like sticky. I feel like it dries to a just kind of powdery finish. It doesn't like stay on really sticky, but I do think it is best to set it with either a highlighting powder or just a powder on top. If you put just the powder on top, it will, of course, take away from the glow. But if you use the highlighting powder, make sure to use something in a similar tone, like a warm, shimmery, champagne gold tone. I think that will look the most flattering. I showed you the packaging earlier, but I didn't mention that it comes with a little sponge thing on the end. I tried using this a couple of times and it just doesn't work out. Like, it's just so small, as you can see, like, actual cream product is pretty large. It will cover a pretty large area of your face. So this is not like if you just want, like, a glow right here. This will be kind of difficult. You definitely need to just dip a brush in this or something. So I don't get the point of having this being, like, itty bitty tiny that you, you can't really blend anything with it and plus it feels like you're just rubbing off all your makeup. I feel like this just rubs all of my makeup off and plus it's just not too small and it doesn't give like a diffused look that I want. I want it just to be really blended and that when the sun hits you, you have that glow but you don't have like that line of where you put that highlighter. I think that covers most of what I was going to talk about. Like I mentioned earlier, I feel like this product will look best on medium to tan skin. Like, me in the summertime, um, I'll definitely enjoy it a lot. You get a lot of product in here. You get uh, 9.4 grams. I've used it so many times and you can barely see that I've used it. Like, this is how much a product you get, or a bit more. So it's not like this will be a product that you will finish in a couple of weeks or days, so... I would definitely check this out if you like a champagne-y golden glow. Preferably if you have a warm skin tone, like I have a yellow undertone in my skin, so I like playing around with warmer skin, warmer highlighters. So I need to wrap this up. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I inserted a demo here so you could kind of see it in action, but I will do more tutorials and get ready with me using this cream stick. I don't know if the light is catching it as much as I would want it to. Okay. So I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>